Yeah. Picking out there. And, and when you put that back on, you got to make sure you get them lined up. All right, because that's how it, you know, turn the track. All right. Here, so. So there's really no adjustment on, on the standard track. To the standard track. Just free wheels. Wow. Not That's like, unlike the, the vehicle back. The weight of that, I, I highly doubt it. And make sure, watch me real quick. Make sure this switch right here. Hit him with him, Morales. I guess him. Yeah. Take it home. And talk about talk again exactly how these things are handy in saving a soldier's life. Uh, these these uh, you know any of our robotic systems are designed to facilitate the soldier in accomplishing their mission missions without having to be directly at the point of activity. Uh, they can operate these systems from a relatively safe distance without physically being at the site. They can have the system do the work for them, you know, via teleoperation. Okay. And uh, so, so why, why personally do you feel this training is important? Uh, this training is important because uh, uh, I'll just give you some figures. Uh, in, during fiscal year 2007, we had over 1,634 robots hit by IEDs. Uh, out of the RSJPO. And if you look at that in terms of what some of our normal activities where we send soldiers down there sometimes in pairs to investigate things, um, we're looking at that being as over 3,000 soldiers that we've kept out of harm's way. These systems are designed to facilitate keeping soldiers uh, accomplishing their mission from a relatively safe distance. And uh, what were you all doing here today? Training on the Talon robot. Why, why is this training on the Talon robot important? Uh, it saves soldiers' lives. We're able to use the robot instead of putting soldiers in harm's way. Um, how much experience do you have in the field of this? Uh, now I have about four hours of experience. Four hours of experience. <laughs> so um, exactly how does this work without putting the soldier in harm's way? Using uh, you could use the robot dismounted or mounted. Uh, you can stay inside the vehicle and stay out of harm's way inside the armor and operate the robot using the cameras or you can get out and dismount and do the same thing 